Yes, no matter how many sins you may commit, how terrible they may have been, the hypocrisy in your life, the idol worship in your heart, or the sex sin that you've committed, or the unfaithfulness to your wife or to your husband, or whatever it may be, God forgives. You may be guilty of murder. You may be guilty of the worst thing you can think of. God forgives. God loves you. And He loves you so much that He gave His Son Christ to die on the cross. They took Him outside the walls of Jerusalem and put nails in His hands and a spike through His feet, hung Him between heaven and earth. They'd already pulled His beard and His face was bleeding. They'd beat Him with lashes, with long leather whips, with steel pellets, and His back was bleeding. He was a bloody hanging on that cross. And he didn't have to die. He, he voluntarily did it because of you and because of me. He could look down through the centuries of time and see you. And he knew all about you. And in spite of all that you are, he loved you. And then thirdly, the cross of Christ is an offense because it sets forth an ideal of life. The life that you can live here with joy and peace and satisfaction and meaning is brought about because Christ died on the cross. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Christ demands that we live a life of self-crucifixion. We crucify the selfish desires that are wrong. We crucify the lust and the greeds and the hate and the jealousy and all these things that are in all of our lives, we crucify and God forgives us. Many chafe at the restraint of the life like Christ. We refuse to give up what we know His cross condemns. Jesus told us we must bear the cross. And when you go back to school, when you go back home, when you go back to your work, you're to take a stand for Christ even though they may laugh at you and persecute you. That's your cross. Your cross is not some disease that may come. Your cross is not some automobile wreck that you may have. Your cross is not some bad thing that may happen in your life or your family's life. Your cross is identifying yourself with Christ, taking a stand for Him, loving people that you normally wouldn't love. Many of us want the blessings of Christianity without sharing the toil and the sacrifice that is involved. The offense of the cross often reach a, reaches a point of opposition. The scripture says they will offer you up in their churches and councils even. Think of it. They will scourge you in their synagogues, the scripture says in verse 17. Ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. All that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Notice all. If you come to Christ, you better count on some persecution. If you don't have persecution, you better check and see if there's something wrong in the way you're living.